guys back today with a new video um today i thought i'd do something fun and let you all get to know me a little bit better by doing the a little bit of everything tag i saw um the gabe fix gabrielle from gabe and babe tv i saw her do this tag on her channel and i just thought it'd be fun so i'm gonna go ahead and get started the first question do you keep up with the kardashians um not really. Every now and then, if I'm bored and just flipping through channels and I see that they're on E, then I might stop and watch it. But no, I'm not a religious, you know, faithful viewer. I just catch it every now and then. I don't really care for the Kardashians. But, uh, yeah. Question number two. If you could have an old muscle car, which one would you choose? I don't even know an old muscle car um, to name, so I'm just going to give that question a pass because I have no idea. <laughs> Question number three. Do you curse like a sailor when the camera isn't rolling? No, I do not. I actually don't curse at all. So, yeah. Question number four. If your significant other gave you a hall pass, who would you use it on? Be honest. I would say... It's kind of a tie between Terrence J, Lance Gross, and Idris Elba. All three of them just fine chocolate perfection so any three of them i would use a hall pass on number five what is one thing you do that you hate to admit i i'm very introverted and shy i don't really like talking to people so i will go out of my way to avoid an awkward situation or even not even that just i will go out of my way to avoid a conversation with somebody which is sad i just need to t open up and talk but i i will like, if I see somebody coming down the hallway at work, I will cut a corner and act like I'm going somewhere else just so I don't have to talk to them. It's crazy. You really brush your teeth in the morning and at night? Be honest. No, I just brush my teeth in the morning. Um, every now and then, I'll try to do it at night, but I don't make a conscious effort to do it, so I need to do better on that. What is your go-to drink at Starbucks? I don't even really drink Starbucks like that, but if I had to have a go-to drink, it would be a caramel frappuccino. Question number eight. Is your current hair color your real hair color? No, it's not. Um, last year, I got my hair colored a red color. And it's actually um, kind of faded out into this brown color now. So this is not my natural hair color. My roots is my natural hair color, but this is not my natural hair color. If you could swap bodies with someone, who would it be and why? It would be Beyonce. Her body is like on 100, just perfect everything. So I would definitely swap bodies with her. And have you read Fifty Shades of Grey? If so, what did you think? Yes, I did. I read all three of them back to back to back. And I really enjoyed them. I mean, I'm not really that type of person, but to be able to read it and kind of live vicariously through the character it was actually kind of fun and interesting for me. Question number 11, do you crack your knuckles? No, I do not. And I hate the sound of it. It makes me cringe. Have you accidentally text messaged someone something you were supposed to be sending to your special someone? Thank God I have not. I am trying to be very careful and like double check anytime I send messages. Not that I've been sending anything that I ain't got no business sending, but even just general text messages, kind of make sure that it goes to the person that I want it to go to. Have you ever created a fake, a fake profile to creep on someone? Heck yes. Uh, who hasn't done that? Back in high school, shoot, even in middle school, MySpace days, I was on it. Black Planet. What was that other thing? Tagged. I, all of them pages. I didn't, even Facebook. I had made an Instagram or not like that. I feel like I'm more mature now. But yeah, back in the day, yeah, I have. What is your weakness? Cookies or pastries? I'm not really a fan of pastries, so I would definitely have to go with cookies. And my favorite cookies are cranberry white chocolate. I mean, yeah, cranberry white chocolate with like craisins and white chocolate. The truth the truth. What do you love about yourself? I love my discipline. I am a very disciplined individual. Anything um, I set my mind to, I make sure to follow through with that and I really like that about myself. I think that's a very good uh, quality to have and it will take you far in life. So yes, definitely my discipline. Do you match your nail polish to your toenail polish? No, I have before, but it's not like I have to do it, no. And very rarely, I don't even paint my nails. I don't get my nails done, so no, I don't. Tell us a few things about you that people will be surprised to know about you. I'm a crybaby. Um, 
I don't know if this would be something that would be surprising, but anytime I'm, it just, it doesn't even matter what I'm watching, any emotional moment, whether it be on TV, a movie, you know, even in person, if it's, if I just feel like an overwhelming of emotion, if so, when something happens, I will cry, tear up, and have no shame about it. I am very, I'm a crybaby, I'm emotional, and I'm very sensitive as well. Heels or flats? Uh, flats. I tried that heels thing in college, and I, it, it's just, it ain't working for me no more. Like, even now, heels ain't no joke like i don't understand how people do it and like beyonce and them like be performing in heels like that's on some that's on a whole nother level because i can barely walk out the house shoot walk around the house in some heels so i'm flats all day right now hopefully i can venture back into heels and like really you know i don't know just dress up and look nicer in heels but until then i'm good with some flats if you could do anything for one day and money wasn't an option, how would you spend your day? Dream big. I'd love to just travel to Paris. That has been on my bucket list for years now. And um, I would just go there and spend the whole day just shopping, eating, exploring, and just really taking in the scenery. What was the last YouTube video you watched? I think it was... Dear Natural 85's latest vlog, I think it was about her and Felipe's sixth year anniversary. I saw that one this morning. You have road rage. I originally, no, I did not. But since moving to Atlanta, like, traffic and these drivers are just ridiculous. Like, there is, you can guarantee to get on the road at any time of the day and there will be traffic. And as soon as it rains, like, these drivers act like they don't know how to drive. Like, it's just rain. Like, people go so slow. It's just ridiculous. Like, rain, really? You, you, you gonna do that over some rain? What is your favorite rock and roll song? I don't have one. I mean, I'm sure there are, like, some classics, but I can't really think of one right now. So, yeah. Who was your first kiss? Do you still talk to them? My first kiss was in kindergarten, and no, I do not still talk to the person. I like follow them on Instagram or Facebook friends, so no, I don't talk to them, but I could get in contact with them if I wanted to. If you could have one YouTuber's closet, who would it be? I think that girl's name is The Chic Natural. I'm going to um, link her channel below. Like She does some um, lookbook videos, and her her outfits are on point like they are like some really cute like professional attire so it's some just like everyday casual attire like everything is cute and all her outfits are always on point if you could have one youtuber's makeup collection who would it be i'm not really a makeup person i don't really wear makeup but if i did it's my ray ray she her makeup tutorials actually between isma ray ray and i think beauty Beauty Lee or something like that. I'll link both their channels below. But amazing makeup tutorials and always, their makeup always just looks flawless and natural. Do you have a nickname? I do. Most of my family call me P. What do you think is the best thing about your YouTube channel? Um, I mean, I'm really like still in the beginner stages, but I think my channel, um, it's just a breath of fresh air. I think it, of course, helps um, natural ladies with their their um, hair, giving them inspiration and encouraging them, and um, just showing them different styles, what they can do with their hair, products to use. And I think that's just always a big help because when I first went natural, the natural community wasn't as big as it is now. So just for anybody, it doesn't matter, just for them to be able to, you know, go to my videos and learn something about their hair, or something they can do their do to their hair. It's just a really good feeling, and I'm glad that I could do that for people. How many cars have you had? What were they? I have had three cars. My first car, I got my senior year of high school, and it was a 1992 Toyota Corolla, one of the box cars. And, I mean, it wasn't the best car, but it only took, like, $15 to fill up, and I, I was just happy to have some wheels. Senior year of college... I bought a 2000 Honda Accord, um, just something to get me from point A to B, and I actually enjoyed that car. Like, it was really great on gas, you know, just a small, like I said, get you to point A to point B type of car that I enjoyed. And last year, I bought me a 2000, 
and 10 Acura TSX that I still have now that I love. It gives me luxury and I just look good in it, so yeah. And what is your favorite pizza? A lot of my friends and family call me childish because I'm happy with just cheese pizza. Um, Papa John's cheese pizza with that garlic sauce on point. You could only have one lipstick for the rest of your life. Which lipstick would you choose? I actually don't wear lipstick and I never have, so I can't really answer that question. But that's all the questions I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just, you know, nice to just do something fun and let you all get to know me better. And I tag all of you to do this video. And once you do it, please tag me so that I can get to know you guys as well. And thanks for watching this video. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.